What's up guys, it's Felix from Giant Lifestyle. Welcome back to another episode of a day in the life of a 24 year old real estate investor. Today we're heading to the capital of New Jersey, which is a city that has extremely cheap properties with fair market rent. So I am FHA approved and I plan to buy a turnkey multifamily property within the next two months. We're also going to be stopping by our redevelopment property to cut down one of the trees that is overgrowing on the neighboring property. We have to cut the tree down anyway because where the tree is located is actually an extra lot and we're going to be building a two family right next to the single family that we already own so let's go yo yo nanya how much you needed to borrow bro i'm gonna come meet you at the bank instead of mauve uh 6400 6400 okay uh you at the one by the mall yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you there right now? Yep. All right, give me two minutes. I'll be right there. Okay. Okay. All right, so before we run to uh, go to look at the houses and stuff, uh, one of our close friends, business partners, and, you know, was a client or, you know, is a client of ours, I showed him how to flip medical commodities, uh, what, a year ago, and he's made over six figures. His name is Nanya, straight Beast. Beast. And uh, he needs to borrow, he said, what, like 6400 to actually go buy um, some medical commodities. I guess he don't got the money. But, um, you know, one time he, he brought a deal to the table where somebody had like $20,000 worth of product and we split the deal with him. So we're going to front him the money. The beauty of the medical commodities business is it's secure. So he knows exactly how much he's buying, how much he's selling it for. Um, and uh yeah he's probably gonna cash out uh probably the margins are a bit smaller on this deal because he's buying some volume but i'm gonna run to the bank real quick for him and spot him the six thousand and he'll probably get get it back to me well, tomorrow maybe monday the latest so uh gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna head to uh where we're going How much have you made since you uh, started flipping medical commodities since uh, you know last summer? I made pretty much over 125 grand. You were savage. I know. So what are you going to do with that money right there? Buy some more test strips. <laughs> All right, guys, here's some new shit I'm on. Everybody gets checks from now on. Nobody just gets straight up cash. That's something that I used to do when I first started paying people out, contractors, subcontractors. I used to give people cash, but no, no longer. It's a bad way to uh, track your books, how much you're paying out, expenses, taxes. And another thing is you can't really protect yourself. If somebody acts up with cash, they could be gone. If you give them a check, you know, the bank protects you and protects you in a way. So going forward, everybody gets a check. The guy who cuts down these trees today, he will get paid with a business check. Okay. Same inspection. Let's see that blue one too. Okay, here, friend. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me right now. 
right now, but this uh, church right here next to this property, I own this house right here. We're gonna build a two family right here, right on this lot, but the trees were actually overgrowing onto the church. So we had to, obviously to build a house here, we gotta remove the trees anyway. So we're getting the trees removed that are overgrowing on the church, and then you know it'll be cleared out. So once we fix this up, then we're gonna build a two family right here. So. And these trees knocked out, man. I underestimated how big these trees actually were, but they're getting chopped down, man. One step at a time, this will be fixed up, and then this will be a two family. Alright, right now we at um, Home Depot. Uh, we're gonna pick up a little sign for the property. This is like a vacant lot, so we don't want people dumping on the lot. So we're gonna like try and get a sign. I mean, people could still do it, but uh, we're gonna try and get a little sign to put on the property that says no dumping. So that's where we're at right now. I didn't know this Home Depot was here. This Home Depot is probably gonna be the hub Home Depot for this city. And this is the capital, man. This capital, it, it looks kind of messed up for you know a capital state, but we're gonna we're gonna fix this city up and uh, get rich in the process. Two hundred dollars a week. Two hundred dollars a week, man. Five hundred dollars in one day. Yo, I'm gonna get a fucking HGTV show, bro. Yo, we gonna get an HGTV show. Yo, that's show. what we need. That's, what, that's exactly what we need. Brian, come through. They don't make how much in a how much they make how much in a day, bro? In a week, in a week. In a week, like $225. <laughs> in one day, you make five hundred. Two weeks, you make five hundred. Then you get the stock shit. You know what I'm saying? You know that stock lady. Make your beans in one day. <laughs> We're trying to prevent people dumping on our property. If they want to dump, they can dump, but try and prevent it. All right, we're here to look at the second property. This is the property right here. This is a two family. This is the block. We're gonna go inside and see what it looks like. The left side's vacant, so we're looking at the right side right now. It's, it's, it's sort of bad. update not sure if you guys can hear this or not but as you can see that main tree is gone almost and then they're gonna take the trees in the back so if you guys can hear me this is gonna stay 
and right here is going to be a two family this thing goes back far man this lot right here is 5,000 square foot this house is only 850 square feet man that's going to rent for about 1300 that's going to rent for uh maybe about 1300 and 1300 so the cash flow from this entire property is going to be close to four thousand dollars and i bought it for nine grand use credit and business lines of credit to fix it up refinance out and get all my money back look at this shit. this shit right here Oh, this one right here with the fish lounge? This right here? Oh, this one right here, yeah. Should look... I like that modern look to it. Alright guys, so I'm back at the property and as you guys can see, the tree's gone and it's about 80% done or so. The guys are just finishing up now. What we did today is we went to look at two multifamilies. We had to kind of go at crazy times. Um, but I'm pretty set on which one I plan to buy and uh, you know it's just about maximizing the businesses and the cash flow that I have right now to buy as many properties as possible because buying houses like this is literally the safest investment I have two houses like a duplex about I don't know a mile and a half that way I think I, I'm still learning this city so I don't exactly know and then like I said right here is gonna be a single-family house and then right there is gonna be a multi-family house so we did that I uh, cashed that on, out on some medical commodities today uh, simply just sent that out an invoice and got paid and um, that's it man so you know I didn't do any crazy labor or any crazy work but I made well over $500 in my medical commodity business um, I'm FHA approved to buy a multifamily. With FHA, you can buy up to a one or four family. They're about to start the chainsaw, so you might not be able to hear me real soon. But uh, progress every day, man. It's really awesome. Once you get to a level that you didn't think you could get to, that you finally get there and you really just start winning. So I got to end the video here. They're starting the chainsaw back up, but really awesome day. I got to take those trees down anyway. So the church right here was asking, until I build the multifamily right here, I might actually... Uh, rent it out to the church. I scratch their back, they scratch mine. I cut down the trees that were hanging over their property. Now I might rent this little space out to them for like, you know, a buck fifty, two fifty, three hundred dollars a month until I actually build a property there. Then, of course, you know, fix that up, fix this up. And man, this could be a, a lot that's bringing me three, four thousand dollars a month. I'm gonna end it here um, and we'll see what else we get into for the day. Make this video in here so you guys can hear me. But look, I hit him with the private property and 24 hour surveillance signs. Keep out. They're about to pull that big bad boy down. Look at him. Got the bobcat back there. What's up guys so i'm gonna end the video here um what a productive day um uh, just spoke to my mentor uh real estate mentor of mine who you know gave me some things to look out for when i do decide to move forward with one of those properties as it is a different kind of deal a deal i've never really done um probably gonna take a quick nap and then go on my bike for a late night ride with some friends um go on some streets and stuff. I've noticed with riding the motorcycle, man, I don't really like riding on streets with cars. Um, we, we go on different trails and different back roads with no cars because these cars are reckless. So productive day, made over $500 between my businesses and profit. Um, started the rehab on one of my development deals and you know looked at a few more deals that i'm looking to pick up within the next month or so so if you guys enjoyed the video uh make sure to leave me some feedback in the comments below man the goal is to get an hgtv show that would be dope if somebody could pick me up on hgtv and get me a little real estate show as a 24 year old real estate investor soon to be 25 next month so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe make sure to leave me some feedback and uh, throw a like on the video if you did enjoy thank you guys for watching see you guys later peace